Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to talk about tags in DBT. So tags in DBT are really very helpful. So let's say you have multiple models and you segregate those models with the help of tags. Then whenever you are running a particular DBT model, what you can do is uh, you can run them through the tags. So if you have 100 models and 10 models are tagged with tag A, then you can just specify the tag A to run your all the models which have been specified by that particular tag. So in that case, DBT models are like really helpful. So we are going to see how we can implement tags in DBT. So before moving ahead, I do recommend all of you guys to connect with me on LinkedIn. I will leave the link in the description box. And also in case you guys have not subscribed to my channel, I do recommend all of you guys to subscribe to my channel, share my videos as well. And, you know, do like this particular video. And let's move ahead. So I'm going to go back to my DBT project that we have been creating. Now to implement tags. First of all, we need to go to the DBT project.yaml file. Now here we are actually going to specify, you know, all the tags that we have in our model, right? So let us assume we have the tags as order related and non order related tags, right? So in this case, what we can say is uh, we can simply define, you know, uh, that for our intermediate, for our intermediate models, we are defining these are all the tags of my intermediate models. I'm just giving an example. So uh, what can uh, what can actually happen? In fact, instead of intermediate, let me put it as if I go to the models over here, let me call it as staging. I think that will be even better. So let me put it as staging and then just save it. So here I'm just saying that, hey, in my models, in the staging folders, I have these tags. Now I have to define. Now, if I go back to my staging inside staging, I have multiple models. So let me select any one model over here. Now, if I go to the top of this model, I have to define the tag over here in a configuration. So in this configuration, I can simply say the config tags and tags is a list. So that is why it has to be the square brackets. And I can say order related, orders related. And I can simply click on save over here. So inside this model, like I have multiple models over here, right? But only inside this model, I have placed this configuration. And in the dbt uh, project.yaml, I have defined all the configurations I have in my staging model. So now what I can actually do is I can simply go ahead and I can simply say dbt run minus s select tag, select the tags which are order related. So run only those models where the tag has been defined as order related. Now, if I click on enter, now you will see that only one model runs. Now, this is the only that model where I have defined the tag as order related. Okay, so this is exactly how your, uh, you know, tagging will work in DBT. So right now you can see that it has started uh, in the previous video. We have also defined the hook, right? I have also, also uh, already defined hook in my previous uh, video. So I hope you understand that why a hook is running first. And then you can see this is stage e-commerce order items, stage e-commerce order item. Now, only this particular model has run just because here in the configuration, we have defined the tag. So this is exactly how a tag works in DBT. I hope you like this particular video. You are watching all the videos of my DBT and you are really learning and growing with me. So thank you so much for being till here.